Hi, this is Rick Wooker, Product Manager at Boston Gear. Here today to show you how to install the keyless tapered bushing in the Boston Gear SS700 Gen 2 product and how to mount this to your mating shaft. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you to use the proper PPE and lockout tagout procedures required for your facility. Here are the parts that come with this tapered bushing gearbox. The gearbox bore is tapered on both ends identically, so it can be field mounted to either side. The mating shaft must be drilled and tapped with threads matching the catalog. There are multiple ways of mounting a hollow bore gearbox to the mating shaft, but the Boston Gear keyless tapered bushing design accommodates a shaft tolerance that is easily achieved with commercially available turning equipment. As we begin the assembly process, please verify the draw up bolt threads into the shaft to the full depth without any resistance. Before installing the gearbox, please clean off any grease or dirt that may have accumulated on the mating parts. You want all parts to be clean and dry without any grease, oil, or never seats. The parts must be clean and burr free for proper installation and clamping to the shaft. Next, we're going to mark a line on this shaft because the pilot bushing needs to be installed at the proper distance from the end of the shaft. The 718 gearbox needs to be 5.687 inches from the end of the shaft as indicated in the catalog. Now we can slide the pilot bushing up to the line, verify the clamp collar slot and the bushing slot are in alignment. Then tighten the clamp screw to the proper torque specification found in the catalog. After tightening, please verify the bushing alignment has been maintained. Now that the pilot bushing is properly mounted, we can slide the gearbox onto the shaft carefully without causing any burrs or damage to the mating parts. Once the gearbox bore is tight against the pilot bushing, we can install the drive bushing. Push the bushing in and then come back with the draw bolt and thread that in accordingly. This bolt needs to be secured based on the torque values found in the catalog. For the 718 size gearbox, we need to torque this bolt to 46 foot-pounds. Once we've achieved the proper bolt torque, please verify the installation position on the shaft has been maintained and the unit is fully secured to the shaft. This unit is now able to transmit the full catalog gear ratings. Now let's take a look how we can quickly and easily remove this gearbox from the shaft. Start by removing the draw bolt that is threaded into the shaft end. Once that bolt has been removed, we can replace that bolt with a slightly larger bolt that threads into the tapered bushing. For this size gearbox, we can install a 5 8 inch diameter bolt that threads into that bushing. We can now tighten this bolt until the gearbox comes free from the shaft. After a few revolutions, you'll see this gearbox slide easily from the shaft. And that concludes the installation of the keyless tapered bushing used in the Boston Gear SS700 series worm gear reducer.